Hi, my name is Joanna and I'm going to present our paper Moment Detection in Long Tutorial video. Today, we're exploring how to detect key moments in lengthy tutorial videos. We introduced the first two datasets tailored for such videos. Our approach leverages ASR or automatic speech recognition using video transcripts as a weak supervision tool. However, these transcripts can be noisy, so one of the challenge consists in dealing with this type of noise. Now, let's define the problem. Our objective is to localize the moment in video where a query in natural language takes place. For instance, if a user inputs sketching a teddy bear, our system is designed to identify that pre precise segment. However, a challenge arises. These instructional videos typically span over an hour. Presently, the scarcity of annotated datasets for such long videos prevents model training. So, our first main contribution is the introduction of two datasets. The first one is BMD or Behance Moment Detection. It contains around 8000 videos, the majority being longer than one hour. Due to the tremendous cost in annotating such videos, we automatically curate and generate annotations for the training split by leveraging the ASR while we have collected human annotation for testing and validation. The second dataset we propose, YTC or YouTube Chapters, contain YouTube Chapter annotation, again for long videos. This time, we have human-generated annotations for all splits. The dataset contains around 500 videos. Now, let's compare our proposed datasets with other datasets from the literature. There is a striking difference when it comes to the duration of the video. The only existing dataset that has a similar duration is MAV. However, even though the video duration is similar, there is a big difference in terms of the segment length duration between our datasets and MAD. As it can be seen, MAD has very short segments, while in our case, the segments are longer, making our proposed datasets unique. Now, let's talk about our proposed method. Here, you can see a schematic of our approach. Our method consists of several steps. Step 1. Segment timing generation. We use unsupervised models to segment the video down into various segments, each focusing on distinct topics. Step 2. Query generation. Having the transcript of each segment from the ASR method, we use a large language model in order to summarize that segment into a searchable query. This ensures that every video chunk is associated with a clear, concise query. Step 3. Train the model. For the actual architecture, we build upon the existing literature and use Moment Data, a state-of-the-art moment detection model. Now, let's see our main results. Firstly, let's talk about the metrics. We use two main metrics to evaluate our model. The R1 at 0.5 metric checks if our model's prediction matches more than 50% of the annotated segment using intersection over union with the ground truth. Meanwhile, R1 at 0.7 requires a match of over 70%. For robust results, we test our approach with three different random seeds. Here, you can see results on the BMD dataset. In this table, we show the comparison between the different methods used for segment timing generation as well as for query generation. As in can be seen, we obtain the best results using OSG and GPT-3. Now, let's switch to YTC. As I already mentioned, YouTube chapters contains only human annotations. However, if we use the BMD automatic generated data as pre-training, we obtain a drastic improvement in performance. This, again, shows the effectiveness of our annotation generation and further validates the idea. Here are two qualitative examples from BMD dataset and from YTC dataset. Code and data are available online. Thank you very much for your attention.